and stronger, although that's part of it. He was talking about a mindset. He was talking about his approach, how he practiced, how he trained. All the things you don't see. I'm like, I can do that. So I practiced harder than anybody practiced. I trained harder than anybody trained. And I played harder than anybody could play. And I believe it was those couple things that really propelled me and allowed me to play in the National Football League. When the Chicago Bears drafted me, I met Walter Payton. The first thing I wanted to do, I wanted to train with Walter Payton. Now, Walter Payton has some unique ways of training. He'd run this dirt hill to about a 60% grade and 80 yards straight up. I always wanted to run that hill too. To, to train with somebody like Payton would be like a dream come true. He's like, when I met Payton, I asked him, he's like, sure. So they set a time and a date. He goes, I showed up. He goes, I was early. I was excited. Here comes Payton, pulls up in a red Ferrari, gets out of his sweat, got his sweats on, and his headband on, his sweatbands on, and got his look sweet. Because we get out, we warm up, we get ready, we go to that dirt hill. He goes, man, we run up that dirt hill, we get to the top, and he's like, reality hits. He goes, I can literally see the bones in my chest bouncing out from my heart because I can hardly breathe, I'm hyperventilating. He goes, now, now I start thinking about the things I should have asked. Like, how many are we going to run? <laughs> he's like, because I couldn't talk because I'm trying to breathe smart. Our rest period was on the way down. So he said, we got halfway down, and I turned to Peyton, and I go, how many are we going to run? He goes, he turns to me like he hasn't even been running, and he's like, 10. It's not the number I'm always hoping for. <laughs> they get to the bottom of the hill, he turns around, and they start to head back up. He says, I get halfway there, stop, walk back down, he goes, I puke, get in my car, and go home. <laughs> then he saw something, he said something very profound. He said, you know what, the bottom line, he goes, that dude just wants more than I do. It's the truth. Walter Payton, 5'10", 205 pounds. Maurice Douglas, 5'10", 205 pounds. Maurice Douglas is a very good player. Walter Payton, maybe the best to ever put a pair of pads on. What made the difference? Walter Payton's mindset. At a young boy, when I was 12 years old, I pinned up a goal to play in the National Football League. When I pinned that goal up, the first things that I started to think about and resonate were all the things that people shared with me. Merrill, you know how hard that's going to be? Do you know what the odds are of you ever playing in the National Football League? Although I did not know it at the time, it's 0.02% of high school players who ever play in the National Football League. Merrill, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Now, as I looked at that goal and thought about those things, I decided I'm going to find a way to beat those odds. Whatever work it was going to take, I was going to do it. And that inspired me to put that on the top of my wall. And what it did for me at that time that I didn't really realize, it helped me channel my energy to things I wanted to have happen and not worry about things that could happen and I did not want to have happen. And it sent me on a journey that allowed me to play in the National Football League, but I would discover many things. The first things that I stumbled across was a quote by Aristotle. We are what we repeatedly do. Then excellence is not an act but a habit. We are what we repeatedly do. Then excellence is not an act but a habit. I needed to be excellent. And it inspired me to create good habits and to be excellent.